Today, we're going to be opening up the brand new Pokemon Go Pokeball tins. And I'm also going to be giving two away to one lucky winner. Check the description of this video for details on how to enter. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and make sure you're smashing that like button on your way in. So guys, if you're ready, let's see what we can pull. And in this display, we have a Pokeball, a Great Ball and an Ultra Ball. And we're going to open up all six of them. Our very first Pokeball of the video, and this is what comes inside. So, you get your three Pokemon Go booster packs, as you can see here. You also get some stickers as well. We've got Charmander looking super cute, and we have a Moltres there. And then you get your Pokemon Go codes, which I will share with you all. And so, let's go ahead and open our very first booster pack of the video and see what we can get. So I have only ever pulled the alternate art Mewtwo one time on stream for someone. I'd love to be able to pull it for myself. It's four on the card trick for Pokemon Go. Are we ready? Let's see what we can get. We've also got gold. We've also got rainbows in here as well. So the possibilities are endless. And in the first pack, we've got the Blastoise Hollow. And in Pokemon Go, we also have the three Radiants. And the three Radiant cards in this set are Radiant Blastoise, Radiant Venusaur, and Radiant Charizard. I think they did a great job with them all. And if I had to pick out of all three, my favorite artwork would definitely be the Venusaur, followed by the Charizard, and then the Blastoise. So hopefully we get one of them. And our first V hit is the Slacking V. And in the comments below, do let me know, have you opened up these Pokeballs yet? If so, what have your hits been like? And what do we think of the hits that I'm getting today? So we're on Pokeball number one at the moment. And so far, we have had the V. Now, if you don't get a V, a V star or anything higher than that, you do get a hollow as standard in these booster packs. So last pack magic, we get the Radiant Venusaur, just as I was talking about them. And you can probably tell this artwork, I think, is just the most vibrant out of all of them, followed by the full art slacking V. What a pack. Some more stickers and some more codes for you guys. Now going in with our second lot of packs. So that Pokeball was absolute fire starting us off. Do we think it's going to continue? These might just be the best Pokeballs to come out this year, but we shall see. Let's see if... Pokeball tin number two can keep up the fire for us. So it would be incredible if we could get all three Radiants. Have we got a Ditto? No, we haven't. We got a Tyranitar Hollow. Getting the Blastoise and Charizard for me would be an absolute bonus. Now, we also get the appealable Ditto cards in this set. So if I miss any, you're going to have to let me know in the comments because I can guarantee we might have missed some in the first tin. Um, but normally you can feel the card is slightly thicker and it sort of makes me look. But I'm going to try and keep my uh, eye out for them. It's on the reverses and down here you'll see the little Ditto symbol. We get Articuno. Now, this last pack has to be a banger to try and compare with that first tin where we got a full art and a radiant in the last pack, but we also got a V as well in one of the other packs. So do we think we're going to get a double whammer in here? A double whammer is where you can get a hit in the reverse slot as well as the main slot at the back. Right, here we go. We have got a ditto followed by Sylveon. And for the content, we are going to peel. And there it is. Ditto hiding behind Nummel. And as much as I would love to pull the Mewtwo all art from this set, there is also one more alternate art, and that is the Conkledurr. I have pulled that multiple times now for other people on stream, but the Mewtwo has only made an appearance once. So if we could get it again from one of these tins, that would be absolutely incredible. There's also a gold Mewtwo uh, V-Star as well, which is a great card. We have an Apom and a Blissey Hollow. So they really did a great job with the Mewtwo card in this set and I remember when I saw the leak for the alternate art Mewtwo people weren't even sure if it was a real card and then lo and behold we finally got to see it in person and it is a beauty so in the comments right now let me know what you think of these uh, pokeballs these tins do you think they're any good and what do you think the hit rates are like we get a male metal V now we're on pack number three of the next tin I'd say the doesn't want me to get into it we had to do some upside down surgery there, but we finally got in. Right, okay. I can't even remember what I was saying, but we're just going to go for it. Let's see. 
The aim of this video, if we can get one of every Radiant. So far, Radiant count number one, we have the Venusaur. Can we get a Charizard or Blastoise? We get the Radiant Blastoise. It's almost like it knew I was talking about it. We will take it, followed by the Tyranitar. More codes? Right, so the goal is Radiant Charizard or Alterna Art Mewtwo. And also, let me know, what do you think of the Pokemon Go set in general? It's a set I was really looking forward to prior to it coming out. We got to see the Radiant Charizard, Blastoise and Venusaur leaks, the Alterna Art Mewtwo that I spoke about earlier. Um, but let me know what you think of it. Was it as exciting for you? And we get the Mewtwo V-Star, our first Mewtwo of the video. I've really enjoyed it. It's a little bit of a smaller set, so it's a little bit more manageable to put together. Obviously, it's a holiday set. Um, but yeah, I think they've done a great job. I think the Radiants are incredible. Like I said, Venusaur would be my favorite. Um, and the Alt Art Mewtwo, I think, just takes it for me. So let's see if we can really spice it up and go for an Alt Art or get that Radiant Charizard that we need. We get another Slacking V. This is pack number three from a tin at number four. Now, so far, so good. I feel like compared to some of the other Pokeballs, like maybe the Series 7, for example. Um, if you're just opening, say, you know, you've got a couple of Vivid Voltage packs or some other Sword and Shield sets in there, I feel like we're getting more hits. Maybe that's just me, and I'm just making that up in my own head. Oh my goodness, we have only gone and done it. We've hit the Radiant Charizard, followed by the Tyranitar again. Guys, we've achieved it. We got all three Radiants in one video. And there they are. Right now, cast your vote in the comments below. Which one is your favorite? For me, it's Venusaur first, Charizard second, followed by Blastoise. I did not think this was actually going to happen. Tin number five. We've ticked off all of the Radiance. All that's left to tick off now is an alternate art. Will it be the Mewtwo? Will it be the Concorder? Will it be either of them? I feel confident. I feel like we can do it. Right, are we ready? Let's see what we can get. Or a rainbow. I won't moan at a rainbow or even a gold. But if we can get a Mewtwo, this is going to be the best prediction video of all time. We get a Mewtwo V. And you might be wondering where the codes are that came out of that tin. When I tell you I just opened that tin and it just took me about three minutes to find where the packs went, they flew away and the code card flew away with it. But don't worry, guys. We'll share the next lot of codes out of the next tin. So this is tin number five. We're opening up six all together and we have absolutely stacked up the hits so far. But we're going to keep them coming. Squirtle and a Sylveon. And I feel like we can do it. I feel confident enough that we can get that all art or even a gold. I'll take the gold. The gold is also an absolute beauty as well. I'll pop it up on screen now if you haven't seen it already. Right, here we go. Third pack from tin number five. What is it going to give us? We get Meltan, Eevee, Pikachu, Squirtle, Spinarak, and a Pikachu Hollow. Tin number six, guys. Right now in the chat in the chat in the comments wherever you are let me know what you think we are going to pull i'm praying this last tin is going to give us the big magic not that we can complain we've had v stars we got another ditto followed by articuno and there is the little ditto symbol that i was talking about earlier should we peel it again it's too addictive not to there it is under the spinner rack we get ditto so, so far, that's two dittos in six tins as well, um, which is funny because some people have said to me they've opened lots of Pokemon Go and haven't even come across one ditto in all of the packs. So, I feel like we've been lucky. Two dittos and all three Radiants in this one display case. Bear in mind, this was one full display case of these new Pokeballs. We get Charmeleon and a Concorder V. And do remember, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, hit that like button. I'm trying to do more videos of brand new products when they drop and when I get them in so that I can show you guys what's on offer, what they look like, and what sort of hits you can get for them. Let's see if we can get some final pack magic. Are we ready in three, two, one? We get the Venusaur, guys. I'll see you again next time.